the occupants of Deir Ezzer recount stories of death, appetite, pulverization and loathsomeness amid the three-year-long attack by ISIS in eastern Syria. RT.com reports. The city of Deir Ezzer was vigorously barricaded by Islamic State psychological oppressors for quite a long while, with provisions and ammo being conveyed to the enclave just by transport planes and helicopters. The attack was lifted by the Syrian army with Russian air bolster prior this month. Opening the land course to the city permitted a dependable supply course to be built up. As the philanthropic guide streamed into the Syrian fortification, local people reviewed the detestations of the years-long attack. We bolstered our kids with stale bread, cleaning the shape from it. We have since quite a while ago experienced big guns strikes and shells, they for the most part hit regular people, youngsters and ladies specifically, a neighborhood lady told RT. The absence of essential supplies and the consistent shelling made the living conditions in the city horrendous, another young lady reviews. We strolled the streets in fear, expecting any minute that a shell may hit us and we would kick the bucket, the lady reviews. We've been under steady anxiety and unsettling influence. We contemplated passing. There was no sustenance, no solution, no power and no water. We've been dead as of now. Occupants of Deir Ezzer bear the signs of malnourishment and the sicknesses they contracted amid the wearisome attack. I have this due to sickliness, and this as well, a nearby lady, um Bodger, told RT, while demonstrating contamination checks all over. I've seen passing with my own particular eyes, I swear by Allah, I've seen demise. This is not life, we ate Trihask. What's more, spread was not margarine by any means. We have seen demise. There was no spotless water, nothing, she included. A gigantic strain has been put on the city's medicinal services framework by a lack of therapeutic supplies, and also an unfaltering stream of individuals injured by shelling. The occupants have been denied of the most essential administrations. A medical attendant in the healing center couldn't give me a dropper, a nearby man told RT. There are dead individuals in the healing center on the floor murdered and shelling. Deir Rezzer was behind a tight barricade. They, ISIS, did not permit a solitary wheat grain to slip in there. The city of Deir Rezzer, which has been removed whatever is left of the administration held territories, was come to by the Syrian army and its partners on September 5. Syrian and Russian helpful guide was promptly sent to the depleted city, and recapturing control of the key Deir Rezzer. Palmyra Expressway a few days after the fact permitted the building up of a dependable supply course association with the outside world. The Syrian army is as of now proceeding with its push against is to secure the territories encompassing Deir Rezzer and growing its region of control. Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu has encouraged the UN to focus on the circumstance in Syria, asking the global group to join Syrian and Russian compassionate endeavors. The UN should promptly venture up philanthropic help with the system of the United Nations and compassionate associations and take a dynamic part in re-establishing the wrecked houses, schools, clinics and framework offices, Shoi Igu composed on Monday in a letter to UN emissary and Syria staff and Amistra.